If you've been playing Minecraft for a while now, you probably might have noticed about the Farlands. But the question is, what are they and why are they present in Minecraft? And more and more questions arise. But before we answer them, like the video and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get the clip rolling. May 17, 2009. Minecraft was officially released, more and more players engaged with it, making it one of the best video games to be ever created, while well, also start with many mysteries. One of them is the Farlands. The Farlands is a terrain bug that appears upon overflowing of a noise generator, most notably the low and high noises of overflowing of 12.5 million blocks from the Minecraft world. There are other parts of Farlands called Fatherlands and Corner Farlands. In Java edition of the game, it was first discovered in Minecraft InfDev and was removed in Beta 1.8. The Farlands have become one of the Minecraft's well-known glitches. However, the Farlands in Bedrock editions are very different from the Farlands in Java edition. The content of Farlands in Bedrock edition of the game is different. The Farlands do not generate on flat worlds due to the lack of a noise generator. Java Edition employs a variety of different noise generators for shaping several aspects of the game. These noise generators experiencing an integral overflow is what results in the Farlands. Now in simpler words, Farlands are literally the world borders. You cannot go past them. And like I told you, Farlands spawns about 12.5 million blocks from the center of your world. So if you want to find this, the best way would be teleporting. Otherwise, you'd spend eternities finding Farlands. And even if you do find Farlands, you cannot just go near there, okay? Your PC or whatever the device you're using to play will actually crash because, the, because of the performance issues. So you cannot just go inside, roam around and then come back. It's, it's not how it works. Now, I know you're still questioning about those noise generators, which I told you. Now, noise generators are nothing, but they are responsible for the creation of your world. Okay, now there are some overflows like ups and downs that can happen in the noise generator which might cause these farlands to happen. Now one interesting thing about the farlands in Bedrock Edition is that the gravel and sand in that area will actually not react to gravity. They actually do not fall, they just stay in their position. This will greatly reduce the performance issues in Bedrock Edition. So if you still want to find, you know, the farlands Pocket Edition and the PS4 Edition would be the best. Now another interesting thing that you need to know is that like I told you, these fallen spawn like 12.5 million blocks away from the center of your Minecraft world. Well interestingly, that is not the limit for 32 bit games. And these fallens look like they continue on and on forever. The Farlands creature. Now, yes, you heard it right. This is another mystery started by many many people, believed by many many people that something dwells in these farlands. They don't know what it could be, but something really scary, really strange, like Null or Herobrine. I don't know what it could be, but I have already done a video on Herobrine. You can go check that out on my channel. But here is the real fact. The farlands is just a natural glitch, and there is nothing to do with all those creatures or whatever it is. That is complete bullshit. And also let me know in the comments below what you think about this farlands creature. And there you go, that was completely it for today's video my friends, hope you enjoyed it and if you do so, give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these content. Well anyway, I will be back with another video, until then, peace out.